the world's first video editor with Sora 2, VO 3.1, Nano Banana. Basically every gen AI model you can imagine it has it built in. No more jumping between sites to use different AIs. No more importing and exporting tons of clips or managing multiple subscriptions. Nope, I've been that. Instead, you can generate stunning videos with whatever model you want, all from within the Veed editor. Man, it's insane how handy I found this thing. Just being able to generate videos and compare model outputs while you edit is such a huge time save. So today I wanna to give a rundown of how I use it and how you can make fully fleshed out videos without importing or recording a single piece of footage. Sweet, so here we are. Now, if you've used Veed before, this will all be super familiar, but if you're new, allow me to give you the quick tour. You have your timeline at the bottom, which will house your video and audio clips. The preview is on the top right, so you can actually see what you're editing. And then on the left, you have a list of tabs, which contain everything you'll need for the edit process, including basically every AI model that you can imagine, all hidden behind this little unsuspecting video tab. I know what secrets you hold. Right, so here's the video concept that I'm thinking. Let's pretend I work for a company that provides wildlife tours on the River Thames. It's the river that's closest to me right now, so <laughs> let's just roll with it. I might want to make an eye-grabbing short advertising some of the surprising animals you might see on the tour. It's visually interesting, it has a clear hook, and it lets me make use of some of the random animal facts to occupy a scarily disproportionate part of my brain. How does a platypus feed its young? Uh, it sweats milk through its skin and onto its fur. Correct. Okay, final question. What day of the week is it? Uh, oh, um... Right, to get started, I'd like to have someone present my video. And as we're not recording anything today, it's time to use some AI. I'm in need of a character for my video, so I'm going to be using Fabric. You can find it by hitting the video tab and scrolling down to characters. Hit view all and you'll see it pop up. It's one of my faves. It lets you take an image and transform it into a fully voiced talking video, which is super useful. For the character, you've got three options. You can use something pre-made in Veed, you can upload your own creation, or you can generate a fresh image, which in the spirit of this video is what I'll be doing. I'll make sure it's in the ideal vertical format, 9 by 16 before simply typing out a text prompt describing how I want my character to look. Remember to include details like their age, how they're positioned in frame, what they're wearing. We're going to have our guy sat by the river because, you know, Thames. Sweet, it gives me four options to choose from. I'm vibing with this one, but you can always generate more if you want. Next, we need to give him something to say. You can upload your own audio, record something right here in Veed, or use AI text-to-speech to generate something new, which, again, is what I'm gonna do. Type in whatever you want them to say, then choose between the vast catalog of accents and voices at your disposal. You even have the option to create an AI clone of your own voice, but for this video, we've created a whole new dude, and you know what? I don't know about you, but he looks like a James to me. With both our character and voice line ready, hit generate and give Fabric a couple of minutes to do its thing. Once it's done, just hit add and it will drop down in the timeline ready to edit. So let's have a look. What do terrapins, ospreys and beluga whales all have in common? They've all been spotted on the River Thames. Yep, it's not just lime bikes and shopping trolleys. It blows my mind that we essentially made that from nothing. Um, I do notice a bit of a pause here in the video though, so I can either go down to the timeline and chop it out old school, or if I wanna be speedy, I can click the script tab. Here, the editor has auto-generated a transcript, giving me the option to just highlight any parts I don't want, hit delete, and then Veed will edit the video for me. Great for when you have the habit of oversharing, like how my home address is 78. So while our boy James is looking great here, we could definitely spice up the video with some B-roll. So let's have a little browse on what's on offer. In our script, we mentioned three animals right off the bat, pardon the pun, so I'd like some footage of each of those animals. In the video tab, click generate and it will load up this beautiful page. This is your AI playground, which gives you access to all the models, whether you want to generate images, videos or characters. I'm thinking of something a bit more like viral and eye grabbing to kick off the video. So let's go with text to video and we're going to pick Sora 2. And I don't know, we'll make a video of a terrapin chomping down on a man's shorts. That sounds attention grabbing to me. Oh, and here's something cool. While the model is working away, you can still edit and be productive elsewhere. We still need more clips and Veed also has a huge stock library. So let's click video again, scroll down and search for some Osprey B-roll. And sweet, look at that majestic bird. And while we were doing that, our Sora 2 video has now finished. So let's take a look. Oh, go, ow, ow, get it off. Dude, what is that? A turtle, it's biting me. Oh my, ah. That will work. I also want some footage of a beluga whale, and you know what? This time, I'm in the mood for some BO3.1. I'll type out my prompt, let the model get busy, and while that's going, I'm gonna start thinking about captions. The vast majority of people consume social media videos 
without sound. So captions are essential for people to know what the hell is going on. Luckily, they're super easy to add. Just navigate to the subtitles tab, hit generate, and it will just time them all perfectly for you. You're then free to pick from a bunch of designs and even edit the individual animation style. I personally like it when they pop up word by word. Background music is also super important to tie the whole thing together because without it, things get awkward very quickly. Go over to the audio tab, scroll down to music, and the editor will already have some suggestions for you. I'm happy with this one, but obviously, if you want to dive deeper in terms of specific moods and genres, you're free to do that. Right, let's throw in our VO 3.1 Beluga clip, and from here, I'll continue to generate and add clips until the video is done. But let's skip to the end and have a look at the final product. It's biting me! Oh my- ah! What do terrapins, ospreys, and beluga whales all have in common? They've all been spotted on the River Thames. Yep, it's not just lime bikes and shopping trolleys. On our boat tour, you'll see a diverse range of wildlife, each with their own unique story. It's crazy, isn't it, that we just made that whole video basically from nothing. There's still so much more that you can do in the editor too that I haven't had the chance to cover in this video. So check out this playlist if you do want to learn more. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions and have fun making all kinds of cool stuff.